Hi there, I'm Alicia Malone and this is TCM's Body Images on Film Series. So far tonight we've been watching movies about women who have been shunned by society for their bodies. But next we have a drama about a woman who finds freedom in hers and danger too. From 1977, it's Looking for Mr. Goodbar, directed by Richard Brooks. Brooks also adapted the script, basing it on the novel by Judith Rossner and the true story of Roseanne Quinn, a young New Yorker who picked up men in bars for one-night stands and was murdered by one of them. Here, the central character is Teresa, played by Diane Keaton. By day, she's a teacher at a school for the deaf, and at night, she visits bars to meet men. After the movie, we'll talk about the controversy it caused and how it divided critics, but... All of that was good for the box office, with the film also being nominated for two Oscars, Best Cinematography and Best Supporting Actress for Tuesday Weld, who plays Teresa's sister. TCM viewers will also recognize other familiar faces like LeVar Burton, Tom Berenger and Richard Gere in one of his earliest film roles. Here it is from 1977, Looking for Mr. Goodbar. A brutal end to Looking for Mr. Goodbar, and this film caused a lot of debate around female sexuality. Because on one hand, it shows a sexually free woman who is enjoying her body, but on the other, it seems to say that her death was her fault, that it was inevitable that she would get herself into trouble. The content of the movie definitely divided critics. Pauline Kael wasn't a fan, writing that it was simply an illustrated lecture on how nice girls go wrong. But our friend Molly Haskell was shattered by it and wrote that it was writer-director Richard Brooks's best film to date, also noting that Diane Keaton had an inner light that is the brightest thing on the screen. Keaton's great performance was praised by many critics, and while it was Tuesday Weld who was nominated for her acting in this film, Keaton did win an Oscar for another performance she gave that year, Best Actress for Annie Hall. Well, that's it for me, but we have more from our body images on film series next on TCM. After the break, Dorothy McGuire and Robert Young fall in love and see each other in a beautiful new light.